everybody. This is Autobot Mike 18, and I have another DVD review slash unboxing for you guys today. Um, but before I get into this review, I hope you guys enjoyed my Avengers trailer uh, two review, and I hope you guys enjoyed my Prana three double D review. And um, I have um, a lot of Avengers uh, discussions that I want to um, have on my YouTube channel, and. Um, I hope you guys enjoy that, because Avengers is going to be my second, um, um, probably, not, not my second favorite movie of all time, I didn't mean to say that, probably one of the best movies I've ever seen, it's probably going to be on my top ten list, if you ask me, um, it's going to be like right near the Transformer movies and Harry Potter Death the House Part 2, so, definitely, uh, I'm going to love the Avengers, and I'm going to talk a lot about the movie on this channel, but, as, uh, before I even start doing that, um, today I have with me, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 1 on DVD. Um, this Part 1 was awesome. Probably my third favorite movie of the Harry Potter franchise. My first favorite was Deathly Hallows Part 2, of course. My second favorite probably had to go to Goblet of Fire because of that dragon scene where, where Harry was in, in the first task. And um, that he, was, he had to flee the dragon. Oh my god, that scene was probably the best of the whole Harry Potter franchise, in my opinion. Besides the final battle. Um... And I really loved Goblet of Fire. And this is probably my third favorite one. This one was really good. Even though I was um, slightly disappointed. Um, they really didn't show them in Hogwarts at all. Really, I don't even think they showed Hogwarts at all. If I remember correctly. Um, they, all they really showed was um, the um, the train. The train that they that the the kids were on going to Hogwarts, and that was really it. That that was really disappointed me. But you know, Harry Potter and um, Ron and Hermione they couldn't go to Hogwarts because they had their mission. They couldn't f finish their seventh year because they had to find the Horcruxes, destroy them all, and then end up uh, destroying Lord Voldemort. So their quest was very intense. I really enjoyed the story of this film. But anyway, before I go too much into the actual movie, let's get down to the review and the unboxing. Here we have Harry Potter, Deathly Hallows, Part 1, logo right above. Um, Harry, Hermione, and Ron themselves. And as you can see, um, Harry has his wand out and Hermione has hers. Ron doesn't have his out, but okay. Um, here you flip it over to the side. It says Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows, Part 1, DVD video, Warner Brothers. And this is a cool thing that they always put on every single uh, DVD cover of Harry Potter, they always, except for the last one, they always put a picture of, <clears throat> they always put a picture of Harry that'll say the year, in this case it's year seven, and then and then under this, in this case it says part one, because it's part one of year seven, so <clears throat> I always love how they do that on the Harry Potter films. Let's flip it over to the back now, you get, it gives um, uh, an interesting bio, Gives a quote right above there. You have a picture of Harry riding on that motorcycle with Hagrid. Um, you have a picture of Duppy, which is probably one of my favorite magical creatures of the film. And then you have another picture of Harry, Ron, and Hermione at, um, I believe it was the borough. That, that was that scene. Um, and the special features, and it's pretty cool, there's the, the Sword of Godric Gryffindor uh, right across the special features um, little box. And it says that there are additional scenes in this movie. So I like how the last two of the, the um, last two films of the Harry Potter franchise did include special features. Um, namely, additional scenes. So let's open this up. And you just get the Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 1 disc. This is, this is the single disc edition. You also are going to get this uh, interesting paper on the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Which is like this exhibit, this ride at Universal Orlando Studios. Um, uh, actually, I, I should say Universal Orlando Resort. And it's a pretty cool picture of Harry on his broomstick. Um, you flip it over to the back. Just gives some pictures of what the exhibit is probably going to look like. It shows Ollivander's wand shop. Uh, the, when Harry rode the Hippogriff in the third film. Also, uh, very interesting, um, this little, um, paper we get, and also, we have this paper that says, explore, have fun, earn amazing awards, oh, I, I actually have a code there, I don't, I'm gonna cover that up, I don't want you guys to see, it's like, uh, Warner Brothers, like, rewards or something like that, so, oh, here's my code again, get five dollars off by mail on any one of these Harry Potter movies on Blu-ray, so it shows all of the Harry Potter's on Blu-ray besides the last two 
um, shows, uh, one through six on Blu-ray, and I don't have the first three, I have every other one but the first three, and I gotta get them on, I'm probably gonna get them on DVD, but this is what you get with Harry Potter, Death Yow's Part 1, single disc DVD release, and that's pretty much it, uh, I recently just got a portable Blu-ray player, so I'm probably gonna go out and buy Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 on Blu-ray, um, because, um, the Blu-ray quality of my portable Blu-ray player is really insane, and this was one of my favorites, uh, Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 1, so I'm definitely, I definitely probably might go buy it on Blu-ray, I'm definitely gonna buy Part 2 on Blu-ray, um, but, uh, Part 1, I, I'm thinking about buying it on Blu-ray, and, um, this movie really was interesting, um, and in a way, I wasn't happy that they, uh, split Deathly Hallows into two parts, but now I kind of am, because they wouldn't have fit all of it in, in one movie, it really was a smart idea to split it into two, and, um, part one definitely was good, I love the ending, that scene with Voldemort visiting, uh, Dumbledore's grave for what he came there for, I'm not gonna give it away, and, um, but I'm sure you guys know it already, and, um, one of our favorite beloved characters ended up dying in the film, I'm not gonna say who, and it was such, this really was a great movie, I love this scene at the Ministry of Magic, where they were trying to find, um, trying to get the necklace from Umbridge, really awesome movie, highly recommend it guys, so I had to give this movie a rating, I'm probably gonna go and give it a... I would probably give this movie a 9, I, I would give Deathly House Part 2 e easily a 10, um, I would give this a 9, um, I wouldn't give it a complete 10, because it wasn't completely perfect, I wanted a little bit more action, man, I had a lot, but Death House Part 2 had way more, in my opinion, and this, but this one was very, very intense, you know, you really, um, Harry's mission was very intense in this one, and I really enjoyed that. But anyway, guys, go see Harry Potter, Death House Part 1, buy it on DVD, I mean, buy it on Blu-ray, this really was an awesome movie. Um, alright guys, this is all about Mike 18 with the DVD review slash unboxing of Harry Potter Deathly Hallows Part 1.